My name is Jeffrey Zwern, and I'm the president of IDS Research and Development Incorporated. This video is copyrighted. This is a Johnson Controls DSC Power Series Pro control panel. This is a zone expansion module which is out in the field. This is a radio alarm transmitter for central station monitoring. This is a transceiver, an inside siren, a motion detector, an RF keypad, a standard keypad, and four four-wire smoke detectors. This demonstration is designed to show you what happens to the core bus wiring when fire attacks it inside a wall. The core bus wiring runs throughout the home, inside walls, in attics, in basements, in garages. Once fire attacks the core bus wiring, it catastrophically and instantaneously renders the control panel non-functional. Everything on the core bus shall be connected in parallel. So if a zone expansion module is attacked by fire, that can shut the system down. If power from the core bus for motion detectors or audio glass break detectors is attacked by fire, that can render the control panel non-functional. Now I'm going to provide a test to show you what happens to the core bus wiring when fire attacks it in the wall. Of course, the fire would be much hotter. The fire has successfully penetrated the core bus wiring. The system keypads are non-functional. The transceiver is non-functional. And the system will not report any fire alarm condition to the central station. Smoke detectors have activated. They've sensed the smoke, but no alarm is activated. No sirens activate in the home. The keypads don't activate. The central station does not get a fire alarm signal. So when this fire burns through the wall into the living footprint of the home, the smoke detectors will activate, but nothing will sound in the home. This violates both UL and NFPA standards. Now we're going to look at the central station activity to show what the central station received with the core bus attacked by fire and with four hardwired four-wire smoke detectors in alarm. As you can see, 
the central station has received sensor trouble and peripheral trouble. Trouble is not a fire alarm. The fire department will not be dispatched to the home during this fire emergency. This violates both UL and NFPA 72 standards. This is UL 985, Household Fire Warning System Units, the 6th edition. Under Section 1.1 it states, These requirements cover household fire warning system control units intended to be installed in accordance with the National Fire Alarm Code and the National Electrical Code. That's Section 1.1. Under Section 1.4 it states, These requirements also apply to the use of combination systems, such as a combination fire or burglar alarm control unit, which uses circuit wiring common to both systems. When common wiring is used for combination systems, it shall be connected in such a manner that internal fault conditions, shorts, opens, grounds, in the non-fire alarm burglary system circuit wiring, or faults between the fire and non-fire alarm system circuits, will not interfere with the supervision of the fire alarm system or prevent intended alarm signal transmission. This control panel does not comply with section 1.1 of UL 985 and section 1.4 of UL 985. The fifth edition has either the same or substantially similar requirements. A short cannot take the system down. This control panel is non-conforming. NFPA 72, the 2019 edition, states at 29.10.7 combination systems. At 29.10.7.5 it states, faults in other systems or components shall not affect the operation of the fire alarm system. This language has been in NFPA 72 since 1993. Under section 29.10.7.6 it states, where common wiring is employed for a combination system the equipment for other than the fire and carbon monoxide alarm system shall be connected to the common wire of the system so that short circuits, open circuits, grounds, or any fault in this equipment or interconnection between this equipment and the fire and carbon monoxide alarm system wiring does not interfere with the supervision of the fire and carbon monoxide alarm system or prevent alarm or trouble signal operation. This control panel does not comply with NFPA 72. The control panel is non-conforming. The control panel is dangerous, unreliable, and should not be used.